hey lovelies and welcome to my channel if you are new my name is alexandra make sure you subscribe to this channel if this is the first time you're watching this video i'm going to show you how to easily style your short fussy natural hair with a puff and twist in front to begin the style all you need is a pattern comb your styling gel and water that's all you need this style is super easy simple for a short natural hair so all i'm going to do is part the front section of the hair that i'm going to do the twist on and then separate the back one from it since my hair is very dark and the camera is not that focusing on it i'm going to take my time to do this pattern so that you see what how i'm doing it and the styling gel i'm going to use for my hair today is the echo styler gel that i have i've been using in my videos i give myself enough time to do the pattern of the hair and not rush it because the sides of my hair are very short as you can see so i make sure i grab it with my fingertips and hold it backward next i'm going to spray in my water that i'm going to use to moisturize the hair and then comb it through using my bigger comb this will make the hair easier for me to start parting and here is my gel ready so i'm going to section the frontal part of my hair i'm going to divide it into about six or seven parts where i'm going to put gel on every part that i'm going to twist i apply the gel from the root onto the end of the hair i divide the one section of hair into two where i start twisting it around very simple from the roots of my hair i hold it tight and start twisting make sure it's not over tight and as you twist around make sure you hold the hair and tight it because when you finish with the twist the hair is going to go back and shrink which is going to make it look shorter than it is looking right now done with that i go in and part the second section of the hair and apply my gel to it from the roots of the hair going to the end of it applying the gel helps the hair when you are twisting it makes it easier and smooth spreading the gel around my hair before i go in with the twisting i divide the section of hair that i parted into two using my fingers and then i start twisting make sure i secure the roots of the hair twisting coming to the ends of it starting the twist very close to the scalp will make the hair look neat and clean when you you finish with the twisting sometimes when you get to the tip of the hair you have to add a little bit more gel depending on the type of texture of fussy or natural hair that you have because some of them are very thick and others are very soft so the gel will make the hair to be smooth at the end when you add it done with the second one i'm going to go on to the third one and show you how i do that one too it's just the same way i did the first ones applying the gel really close to my roots and then dividing the hair into two sections and then twist it around adding more gel as i twist doing this mini twist in front of the hair makes it look a bit different when i start it because i normally just wash from the bathroom and then give it a brush through and use my scarf to just wrap it around and that is it but then doing this has made it look a bit different this is how the frontal part is looking so i finished with that i'm spraying in my water into the hair i always spray in water to moisturize and make my hair softer before going in with anything else like gel or pattern my hair to style in this way you avoid hair breakage or minimize the kind of breakage that the hair will have so you can see as i'm brushing through it is easier for me to use my comb to just go through rather than just going in straight away with comb without even spraying water or anything into the hair as you know fussy or natural hair is that so much dry sometimes that it really hurts especially when you put comb into it when it is not wet just making sure the hair is well combed and all the curls are loose before going in with my gel as it is showing from the top the hair is so fluffy and soft now ready to go in with my gel this will make it easier and not cause any breakage at all especially the central part of my hair is really thick sometimes so i have to make sure i comb it all out to apply the gel i start very simple from the sides of the hair going to the back part of the hair i apply this using my fingers every part that i want the gel to go in i rub it into my hand and then put it in doing this with my fingers helps a lot because i feel the hair and i know the parts that the gel is in and where the, there is no gel when i finish with that i use my brush this brush is really good it's a bristle brush it helps a lot in laying all the baby hairs that are standing around and the ones that cannot lay especially the short ones that hangs about always i used an elastic band to hold the frontal part of the hair that i twisted this will 
keep it away from me as i'm using the brush to go through because i'm on the go always very busy going to work mostly at night and then i come back there have to sleep i decided to do this style this was very simple to do and it kept on my head for about over a week going on because anytime i wake up and the sides of it are like a bit fluffy i just spray in water into it and then go in with my brush again to brush it through and it's so 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 good it looks so fresh so i'm going in with my rope right now to just wrap around the sides of the hair that are standing this rope did a good job laying the sides of the hair as i wrap it around i pull it very gently and slow as i'm as you can see i'm showing you i'm pulling it up very gently so it's making the sides of the hair very sleek i did not expect the tiny rope to make the hair smooth at the sides but then it still did a great job looking at it it did a really really good job this was a yen rope that i had i bought for my hair i just cut about two or three strands of it together i wrap it around my head and then pulling it very slowly as i pull it slowly this made the hair smoother so just wrapping it around at the frontal part and then i'll cut the excess of rope that is left away the rope or thread i'm using is quite tiny as you can see it is really really small so it's a bit smooth in my hand i have to do that very gentle as it will just get off or break so i'm going to try and bring the hair closer so that you see how it is looking this is how it looks at the side it's almost like laying flat if you look at my previous videos you will know that i've texturized my hair about three times already but if you are looking at it right now you can still see it's so so natural so now i'm using my comb that i used to part the hair before that is earlier on to bring out the excess hair that is stuck in it you know some of the hair does shrink and this hair is looking almost ready and neat than before you can see there is so much difference that is showing here as i finish my hair i'm going to take off the band that is in front of the hair and then continue with the style do my makeup and everything and then i'll be back to show you how it looks i'm making sure i just bring out the excess hair that is stuck in it as you can see some of them are really really short and others are long so just making sure everything is out that's all i'm doing so now i'm done with it all just straightening the twist that i did in front of my hair and wrap it around again with my elastic rope this one is from a stockings that i had old and i cut it this is what i'm using to wrap most of my hair sometimes this hair wrap or rope has come so handy for me taking it that i cut it from one of my old stockings that i never used and using it for this is so so good it stretches so well so long to any point that you want i can wrap it around about three or four times depending on how thick i want it to be so that is how it is looking i'm hiding it away now putting in my accessories and i'm done i've finished with my makeup and this is how it is looking everything is almost ready for me to go out and use my hair you know so here is my style that i started i made the puff to look a little bit tiny what do you think about today's easy and simple natural hairstyle everything is all simple and easy very very quick to do effortless no hassle wash and go style very simple it looks so cute looking at it this is the back side of my hair very smooth and slick looking thank you for watching this easy style natural hair on 4c i hope you like this video if you do make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and i'll be back to reply you thank you for watching today's video and see you in the next one Bye!